Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the mode and F mode function. They both are pretty similar and have a very, <coughs> sorry, have a very marginal difference uh, when you use it. So F mode function, if I talk about that first, is a generalized modulo function that basically returns the remainder part of the integer division of the first argument by the second argument. So in, in a nutshell, even it gives you even the negative output if if the numerator is uh, uh, sorry the de denominator is negative but in case of mode function if denominator is negative then it gives you the null and that's why it is a generalized function so you will see that in action so what i'll do is i'll just come out of this and uh, i'll just click somewhere here and add the measure so what I'll do is first I'll write mod mode and then I will write 3 or maybe 4 divided by 3 if I press tab. So quick correction over here 4 comma 3 and you get output as 1. So to move it on to the next line you need to just add the chr10 ampersand and it will move on to the next line. All right, so this is mode and if I say ampersand, sorry, I need to add the new calculation. I cannot keep on just adding it. I can um, add the measure over here, which is uh, mod mode and then four comma minus three. So in that case, it will going to return null. So when it will return null, it, would, it won't show you anything, but I'll show you how you can check whether it is null. So I'm just adding a new line character over here or new line here. The code for new line and click on apply. It has written nothing because it was null, but we can do that by using the is null function. Yes, N-U-L-L. -L. It should return minus one if it is true, false if it is zero. So it has written minus one. That means it is a null value. So you can do this checking. Now, if I use F mode function, so F M O D and say four comma minus three, in that case, over here, it returns one, right? So that's what I was referring that F mode is a generalized function. It will take the negative parameter or the negative denominator and uh, give you the output one as an as if you are using four comma three or if you are using four comma three also then also it will give the output so that's basically a difference uh, that it f mode handles the negative variables as well but mode does not handle it so up to you based on the logic that you are building if you want to use the mode and uh, or f mode function and uh, get the output as per your needs so that's about it in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic